hello everyone and welcome back to my channel as you can see from the title below i have a rose girls haul to share with you all this is the little snap share and tag xo xo jenny rose girls is a vendor wax in the wax community that is well known and is owned by jenny oaks she specializes in these types of mini melter bags, chunk muffins. She used to do half pies and stuff like that. So yeah, let's just jump right in. I've been had this haul, you guys. Um, I had it yesterday when I did the mystery um bag from Carla, but I just didn't have a chance to make this video. So here we are now. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today or had an amazing day, an amazing week. Hopefully this week flies by and we get back to the weekend. So in no particular order, we're gonna start. This one was a really, really surprise and a really good one. Midnight Garden, which is Moonflower Nectar, Soft Rain, Raspberry and Agave. And it has these pretty colors. As you see on the back, I put um, labels because it kind of helped me know when I got this wax or whatever. I just put when it came to me. This scent, um, it's so good. Um, these has, has gotten stronger too. I can get the raspberry. It's definitely a floral. And I also get that moonflower nectar. You can get a hint of rain, like an aquatic note. It's very pretty. A really, to me, this is like a common scent. I would never think rain, raspberry together, but it works. So happy to have this one. Next, we have Strawberry Grape Cereal Killer. I love Rose Girl Cereal Killer um, blend by itself. And so, and I do enjoy grape and wax. I know that's either a love it or hate it mostly, or they can take it and wax. Um, so, strawberry grape cereal killer. This one is good. Very, very strong. It almost smells like a grape cereal. I've never had grape and a cereal blend mixed together, so I thought this was pretty neat. Very fruity for <clears throat> Sorry. And I can pick up on that strawberry too, but I mostly get like a little strawberry grape and cereal. So if you're a cereal lover, you might like this one. I forgot to show you guys my sample. My sample was pink sugar and clothes on the line. This is very pretty. This is like pink sugar with laundry. Oh, it's so good though. I, I'm gonna use this in my bathroom or maybe even in this room on a day I just wanna like freshen up the air from all of the bakery. Her clothes on the line is like a laundry scent. So blended with pink sugar is really pretty. And I'm very happy to have this sample. So thank you for that. This one here, Barbie Girl, Kool-Aid Lollipops. This is such a kid scent, like Fairy Dust, which is berries and cotton candy. I have had Rose Girl's Fairy Dust on its own, and that blend I do enjoy. I don't know about the Kool-Aid and the Lollipops, but um, Fairy Dust, that cotton candy mixed with the berries is really good. Oh. Oh, this is so strong. It is like booming, you guys. It's so pretty, though. Look like it has some purple flecks in it. It's so pretty. It does, you guys. Hold on. So, you see this? It has like purple spots. I don't know if that was intentional or not, but this is very strong on the lollipops oil 
And I remember smelling the lollipops oil from another vendor, so I know what this scent smells like. Kool-Aid scent oil, I don't really know. But it also, it kind of smells, it's very fruity. Like almost too fruity. Too sweet, if that makes sense. I'm going to warm this. It's a really pretty scent, though. I like it. If you're not into those type of really sweet scents, you might not like it, but I do. We have mango birthday cake. And it's pretty orange color. This is basically self-explanatory. Oh, it's so good. I can actually pick up on a birthday cake. It doesn't just smell like mango by itself. It does smell, smell like a creamy mango. The mango, y'all, I can't do nothing right there. The mango is stronger than the birthday cake, if that makes sense. But it's really good. So if you like mango, pick up mango birthday cake. I'm pretty sure most of these will come back. Cake by the Ocean. I've had this one before and I do love it. I do enjoy it. I try to pick it up at least once. Um... Every now and then she offers it. It's Florida Key Lime Pie, Strawberry Pound Cake, and Birthday Cake. Pretty colors. This one is so good. I'm looking at my dog trying to see what is she eating on the floor right here. Bella. I think it's her bone though. This is so good. This is so good. Because you get the key lime and the strawberry pound cake. Like, what's better than that? And I can actually pick up both the key lime pie, the Florida key lime pie oil, and the strawberry pound cake. I don't really pick up much birthday cake, but I'm guessing it's there to kind of balance it all out. Give it like a little bakery vibe. This one I did not like. Y'all know I'm going to be honest. I did not care for this one. Honey Bee Birthday Cake. It's like a bright orange looking color. What made me pick this one up is because I like honey and wax. I just realized that because I've tried it before. And Honey Bee, which I'm guessing is like a honey oil mixed with birthday cake. That sounds good, right? I don't like this one. Um, I don't know what it is about it. It kind of does smell like honey a little, but it's like kind of off-putting. And this is the one I was most excited for. So I want to be honest. So I don't want to say I love it and I don't. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I don't really care for this one. I got to see. I am going to warm it. I don't really just give away my wets like that. I purchase it, so I'm going to try to at least warm it. Even if I have to put it on and leave the house. But I believe this one will be one that I probably end up liking. Because that's how it is most of the time. You get a scent that you really don't like on cold. And then you warm it. And you're like, this is really okay. So we shall see with this one. This one, I was so happy I was able to snag. And it's 4th of July. Bomb Pop Popsicles, Peach Ice Cream, and Strawberry Sorbet. So, look at this, you guys. Do y'all know what I'm going to be melting on the 4th of July? Oh, yeah. All over my house. All over. Bomb Popsicles with Peach Ice Cream. Oh, it's so good. It's so good, you guys. I don't know. I love this one. And this is a new scent to me. So, I've only been purchasing Rose Girls for like a year and a half. Y'all, she is going crazy. Bella. Hold on. Did you get it? Oh, this is what she's trying to get. There you go. All right. So, I really like this one. I do pick up on the peach ice cream and I get a little strawberry, but it's that bomb pop popsicle note that I'm picking up, which is like a cherry, a sweet cherry. It's not medicinal. It's like sweet cherry, peach ice cream, 
not cat pee, like real peach ice cream and a little strawberry. This is really good. I keep seeing these little spots though. So I don't know. All right, you guys. Girl Next Door, which is Macintosh Apple, which is Mac Apple, cucumber and salt to sea air. I thought this was like a really um, neat blend, something like a fresh, sweet apple blend. And it is, it's very fresh. It reminds me of something I've already smelled from Rose Girl, though. I don't know what it is. It smells, it doesn't smell like speechless, of course. But it has like that fresh, very fresh, sweet, salty sea air, cucumber vibe. That salty sea air is really good. This is like a perfect 95 and up weather. It's hot outside. The, the sun is out. You got your windows up. And you put this on. So good. I love this. The Mac Apple isn't overtaking the other blends either. Um, because most of the time, Mac Apple is so strong. That's all you get. Palo Santo Cookie Land, which is Palo Santo confetti cake, toffee butter, scotch pretzels, and cookies. I seen Nisi talk about this one and say how good it was, and it is. It really is. It really is. You definitely get the Cookie Land. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> it's so good. I might even melt some of this tonight. I was holding off, um. On melting any of these before I got my review out um my highlight to you guys but now that I made this video I'm probably gonna melt these it's very cozy you get the Paolo and her Paolo is not too masculine it's very like woodsy almost has a sweet undertone with the cookies this is really good. Woodsy Bakery. It works. So, happy to have that one. Wild Mountain Honey and Lavender. This was a wild card, you guys. She had so many blends on this pre-order list. It was unbelievable. I tried this one because I was like, hmm, I like honey and wax. And I do enjoy lavender. So, this should be a good, a bedtime scent. And it's so pretty. My dog is just looking at me, guys, like, who is you talking to? This is so good. It's so pretty. The, um, like a gray color and it's like, uh, orange is yellow at the bottom. I've never had this scent before. On her website, it said like a fan favorite and it sold out pretty fast. I got like one of the last two bags. I can, I like the honey in this one. It's sweet. And the lavender isn't like a sweet. So my phone want to say I'm out of storage. Sorry about that, you guys. So yeah, we were talking about Wild Mountain Honey. This is a really good one. Glad to have it. And it's strong, too. I've got three more. Black Bear Margarita. This is really, really good. Um, This is just a really strong blackberry scent mixed with a margarita oil. That oil can come off like kind of smelling limeish a little, but I do pick up on the salt from the margarita. It's so crazy. Blackberry margarita is really good. I'm happy to have this one. Yeah, I guess all of these are like this. I guess it's the dye or something. But this is strong. And it's such a pretty color. I can't wait to melt that one. Last, well, one more. Monster Cookie Fluff Puffs. I've heard great things about this one. This is my first time trying it. And it's good. It's so good. You really can pick up on that. I think this has like cookies and... I don't know the scent notes, but I do pick up a very heavy bakery vanilla cookie vibe. 
this smells like something that would transfer on warm into something else. Really, really good. I've heard y'all rave about Monster Cookie Fluff Puff, so we're going to see what that one do. And last but not least, we got Pineapple Pudding Coconut Cake because I love pineapple and wax. Pineapple Upside Down Cake, Gillis Skin Brew, and Birthday Cake. Pretty yellow wax. Her Gilligan's Brew is like a coconut blend. This is so good. I was kind of like hesitant on picking this one up. I started not to, but I do have, let me see. Dang, y'all. Right when I'm trying to show y'all a blend, I can't find it. I don't know if I, um... If I melted it all or not, but I had a pineapple blend. Got it. All right, so reason why I picked this one up is because I'm almost out of this one. What is the pineapple and royal sugar cookies? This is so dang good. I only got a few cubes left. This one is more pineapple forward. Just trying to show you a difference. This one says pineapple upside down cake. That one just said pineapple. So this one is more sweeter with the Gill Gilligan's Brew and the birthday cake. It's more creamier. Oh, it's so good. So I love melting pineapple and mango in the summertime. So this will definitely get used up. I'm not going to probably save it for next summer. It's going to get used up this summer. That is all, you guys. Thank you so much if you stuck around to the end of this video. I appreciate you all so much. Um, Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little haul. And I will be back with probably, what do I have coming? Okay, I did have a Glitterati mystery bag. Mystery box that came with 12 trunks. I posted on my IG, but I didn't, I'm not going to do a haul because... Glitterati is already a hard enough vendor to get and most of those scents you probably won't even get in a mystery sampler so yeah you can check that out on my instagram also about my southbound i posted about that too if you didn't um watch my other video so yeah that's everything um thank you so much for watching i hope you guys have a wonderful night or day wherever you are stay blessed and